Have you ever felt like you're forgetting simple things more often? Have you had that feeling of walking into a room and not remembering why you went there? This may seem normal, but this is exactly how Alzheimer's begins. Silent, invisible, and decades before the first serious symptoms appear. The truth that nobody tells you is this. 45% of Alzheimer's cases could be completely prevented with simple changes in your daily life. And the Lancet Journal published this in 2024, 45%. Almost half of the people who will develop dementia wouldn't need to go through this if they knew what to do now. And there's more. There are six specific fruits that science has proven are capable of drastically reducing the risk of losing your memory, your mood, and even your identity in the future. And before the end of this video, I'm going to show you a revolutionary discovery published by Harvard University in 2025 that could change everything we know about Alzheimer's reversal. That's right, reversal. My name is Kenji Yoshiro and this is Global Health Guide. Subscribe to the channel because today you're going to learn something that could save your brain. Now before I show you these six powerful fruits, I need to end a dangerous lie that's circulating on the internet. You may have already seen videos saying that certain fruits cause Alzheimer's, that the sugar in fruit destroys your brain. This is completely false and I'm going to prove it to you with science. The JAMA Journal published a massive study showing that people who consume six daily servings of fruits and vegetables rich in flavonoids have 28% less risk of developing dementia. 28%, that's not small. And this isn't opinion, it's concrete data from thousands of people followed for decades. The secret is in the natural compounds of these fruits, the flavonoids and anthocyanins. These names may seem complicated, but think of it this way. Inside your brain there are small fires happening all the time. Microscopic inflammations that are slowly killing neurons. Flavonoids and anthocyanins are like chemical firefighters. They put out these fires, eliminate free radicals, and preserve the connections between neurons. This is literally what keeps your memory alive. And now comes the interesting part. Not every fruit has the same power. Some are absurdly more effective than others at protecting the brain. I'm going to show you the six most powerful ones in increasing order of effectiveness. And the first on the list, number six, might surprise you because you probably never imagined it had this effect. The sixth fruit is avocado. I know technically it's a fruit, even though many people think it's a vegetable. And avocado is special for a very simple reason. Your brain is made of 60% fat. It's not water, it's not protein, it's fat. And the type of fat you eat determines whether your brain will function well or collapse. Avocado is very rich in monounsaturated fats, the same ones in premium olive oil. These fats form the membrane of every neuron. Without them, brain cells can't communicate properly. You start to feel brain fog, difficulty concentrating, forgetfulness. But avocado has another secret, magnesium. And magnesium is essential for neurons to be able to fire electrical signals to each other. Without magnesium, your brain literally slows down. It's like trying to run a computer with a frozen processor. A study from the University of Illinois showed that people with low magnesium levels had reduced brain volume and accelerated cognitive aging, and half a cup of avocado per day already delivers the necessary dose to reverse this. Now, if you have difficulty remembering names, words, or that feeling of having something on the tip of your tongue, the fifth fruit will interest you a lot. They're apples and pears. And here there's a very important detail that most people ignore. The power is in the peel. The peel of apples and pears is rich in quercetin, a flavonoid that directly protects verbal memory. You know when you're going to say a word and it simply disappears. This happens because the synapses responsible for retrieving information are weakened. Quercetin strengthens these connections. A study followed more than 2,800 people for 40 years. 40 years. And the result was clear. Those who consumed apples and pears regularly had significantly less cognitive decline. But it only worked when they ate the whole fruit with peel. Juices and peeled versions lost the effect. The fourth fruit on the list is one of my favourites. Grapes, especially purple and red ones, and also raisins, but with an important caveat that I'm going to tell you in a moment. Grapes contain resveratrol, a compound that strengthens the blood vessels in the brain and improves blood flow by up to 30%. And why does this matter? 
Because Alzheimer's isn't just a memory disease. It's also a vascular disease. When blood doesn't reach the brain properly, neurons die from lack of oxygen and nutrients. The Framingham Heart Study, one of the largest cardiovascular studies in the world, followed thousands of people and found that adults who consumed grapes regularly had 44% less risk of cognitive decline. 44%. It's a huge number. But there's a warning here. Resveratrol needs to come from the fruit, not from supplements. High-dose resveratrol supplements can cause liver problems and drug interactions. The fruit is safe, the supplement not always. And if you're diabetic, be careful with raisins. One cup has 107 grams of sugar. That's a lot. Prefer fresh grapes which have fiber and water to balance absorption. Now comes the third fruit. And this one addresses a specific symptom that many people ignore until it's too late. Spatial disorientation. Have you ever found yourself confused about where you are or had difficulty remembering the way home? This is one of the first signs that the hippocampus is failing. The hippocampus is your brain's GPS. It transforms short-term memories into long-term memories. Without it working well, you lose the ability to record new information. And this is exactly where citrus fruits come in. Orange, tangerine and grapefruit. These fruits are rich in vitamin C and flavanones, compounds that protect the hippocampus from oxidative stress. And there's an incredible study from the Nurses' Health Study that followed 25,000 women for 25 years. Those who consumed more citrus fruits had significantly lower risk of developing dementia. But attention, it has to be the whole fruit, not the juice. When you squeeze an orange, you remove all the fiber that controls sugar absorption. The juice becomes a glucose bomb that can even worsen insulin resistance, a risk factor for Alzheimer's. So eat the fruit, chew it, take advantage of the white peel between the pulp and the outer skin. That's where the most potent flavonoids are. Have you already commented here on the channel about any fruit that helped you with memory or focus? Comment down below which of these you already consume. I want to know. Now let's go to the second most powerful fruit. And this one is considered the gold standard of neuroprotection. Blueberries. And in Brazil, acai. Blueberries are the fruits with the highest concentration of anthocyanins on the planet. And these anthocyanins have a unique ability. They cross the blood-brain barrier. This means they can enter directly into the brain and act on damaged neurons. A study from the University of Cincinnati took people with mild cognitive decline and gave them half a cup of blueberries per day for 12 weeks. Just 12 weeks. And the results were impressive. Improvement in working memory, increase in mental processing speed, and recovery of executive function. Executive function is your ability to plan, organize, and make decisions. It's what makes you be you. And Brazilian acai has three times more anthocyanins than blueberries. Three times. The problem is that most people consume acai in bowls full of sugar, guarana syrup, and granola. This kills all the benefit. Acai needs to be pure, without added sugar. Two tablespoons per day already make a difference. Now it's time for the number one fruit, the most powerful of all. And it doesn't just protect memory. It restores something that many people don't even imagine can be recovered. Emotional balance. Strawberries. And before you think it's silly, let me explain the science behind this. Alzheimer's doesn't start with forgetfulness. It starts with emotional changes. Irritability for no reason. Apathy. Loss of interest in things you've always loved. Depression. These symptoms appear years before severe memory loss, and most doctors ignore this because they don't know it's connected to the brain. Strawberries contain ellagic acid, a compound that restores communication between the prefrontal cortex and the amygdala. These are the brain areas responsible for emotional control. When this communication fails, you become irritable, anxious, depressed. And strawberries reconnect this. There was a study done with middle-aged people who had insulin resistance, a huge risk factor for Alzheimer's. They gave fresh strawberries every day for 12 weeks. The result? Memory restoration, reduction in irritability, and reversal of mild depression. People started to feel joy again. They started wanting to do things again. This is not small. This is transformative. And strawberries aren't expensive. They're not exotic. They're available in any market. If you can only choose one fruit from this list, choose strawberries. Eat half a cup per day. Fresh, frozen, doesn't matter. Just don't eat them with sugar. 
But now I need to warn you about three fruits that require caution, because not everything that's natural is safe for everyone. The first is grapefruit. It interacts with more than 85 medications. That's right, 85. Blood pressure medicines, cholesterol medicines, anticoagulants, antidepressants. Grapefruit blocks an enzyme in the liver that metabolizes these medicines, and the dose that should be safe becomes a toxic dose. If you take any continuous medication, avoid grapefruit or consult your doctor first. The second is starfruit. It contains a neurotoxin called caramboxin that is extremely dangerous for people with kidney problems. If you're on dialysis or have kidney failure, starfruit can cause seizures, coma, and even death. It's not an exaggeration, it's documented, avoid it completely. And the third I already mentioned, raisins, too much concentrated sugar. If you're diabetic or pre-diabetic, prefer fresh grapes. Now, I know some of these fruits are expensive or hard to find, so let me give you affordable alternatives that also work. Bananas are rich in potassium and magnesium, help with nerve function. Papaya is a potent antioxidant and has fibers that improve gut health and the gut is directly connected to the brain. Guava has more vitamin C than oranges. Mango is rich in vitamin A and flavonoids. And Brazilian acai is affordable and very rich in anthocyanins. The tip is, buy seasonal fruits which are cheaper, freeze them when they're on sale, and maintain at least three servings of fruit per day. It doesn't need to be perfect, it needs to be consistent. And now comes the part I promised at the beginning, the Harvard discovery that could change everything. In August 2025, Harvard University published a study in the journal Nature showing that lithium deficiency in the brain may be directly related to the development of Alzheimer's. And I'm not talking about the lithium used in psychiatric medications. I'm talking about lithium orotate, a natural and safe form that exists in small amounts in mineral waters and some foods. The researchers tested on animals and achieved something unprecedented – Lithium orotate crossed the blood-brain barrier, reversed the beta amyloid plaques that are characteristic of Alzheimer's, and restored memory. Reversed. This is historic. It's still in the experimental phase, but combined with the consumption of flavonoids from the fruits I showed you, lithium orotate represents a new frontier in neuroscience. It may be that, in a few years, we'll have a natural, safe, and effective treatment to not only prevent, but reverse Alzheimer's. And this brings me to the most important message of this video. The diseases of aging begin decades before they appear. The Alzheimer's that manifests at 70 started being built at 30. The stroke that happens at 60 started at 40. Small carelessness with food, sleep and movement accumulate silently. The elderly person you're going to be depends on what you do now, today. The fruits you eat today are the best medicine to preserve your memory, your mood and your identity in the future. So answer me here in the comments. Which of these six fruits are you going to include in your diet this week? Or just comment strawberry if you already eat them every day. I want to know. If this video helped you, like it, share it with someone who needs to see this, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next content. The knowledge that can save your mind is here for free based on science. Take advantage of it.